All right. So I'm at a small park here in Bettendorf, Iowa. Uh, one of you viewers, and I will highlight the name here in the video, but one of you viewers uh, said, hey, why don't you check this place out? I didn't even know this place existed. I've, I've been at this park, but I didn't know there was water here. And no one's, I don't see anyone fishing. No one's here. Uh, this little lake, pond, uh, I don't know, a couple of baseball fields in size, maybe. Oh, I see fish boiling right out there. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And uh, so he said, hey, you ought to check this place out. It's a beautiful little little pond. And there, there's a sign here saying that all fish is catch and release. Uh, so it's, if there's fish here, it's certainly not fished out. Water is super clear. And uh, so I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give this a shot. I'd like to work my way all the way around. I think there's a path. We'll see. But there's structure in here. This just looks really great. I'm excited. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Let's go fishing. All right, first cast. Chunk of night crawler, a couple of feet under a bobber. Size six snelled hook. Um, saw a fish boiling out there. Oh, there it goes. Got him. First ca oh, I had him. First cast and I got a bite. First cast and I got a bite. <laughs> I did get a bite. Come on. Got him. Oh, I had him. Missed another one. They must be small. They must be real small. I might need to change to a smaller hook. There it goes. Got him. No, I missed him again. Got him. Got one on the worm here. All right. What is it? Oh, looks like a little bass. Little bass. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Little bass. Come here, you. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Little bass. Fish number one. There we go. <laughs> Swim around like a shark. Oh. Got him. Oh, he feels good. Get out of the tree. Get out of the tree. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you? What are you? What are you? Big bluegill. Oh, nice size bluegill. Look at that. Ooh, that's a pretty one. That's a good size bluegill. Here we go. Fish number two. All right, two species, two fish, two species. Let's do that again. Oh, there it goes. Got him. All right, got another. Feels like a good one. Feel like, oh, oh, come here, come here, come here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, another nice bluegill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little meat to that one. Here we go. 
got a nice bluegill. Back you go. There it goes. Come on, come on, come back. Come back. You want it, there it goes. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh, oh good fight. Uh, again, I'm using this little Zebco uh, four and a half foot rod and reel, $25 rod and reel. Oh, that's a big one. Wow, yeah, some nice bluegill in here. That's wonderful. And again, this little pond here in a, in a park in Bettendorf, uh, it's all catch and release here. That's a pretty one. Oh, the colors in that bluegill are gorgeous. All right, back you go. There we go. There it goes. Got him. Oh, yeah, okay. Found a, found a clump of them out there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, come here. Come here. There we go. Nice. Nice fight on these bluegill. Oh, yeah, another good one. Oh, beautiful blue on this one. Come here. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty. That's a pretty one right there. Gorgeous blue on the gill plate, of course. Pretty golden colors. Just a pretty fish. And again, pound for pound, I think the best, uh, best fighters. Certainly for their size. All right, back you go. Oh, there he goes. Got him. Oh, yeah. This is fun. This is fun. I'm going to bring some kids out here. This is a spot to bring the kids. Oh, get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Yeah, here, big one. Yeah, this is a spot to bring kids. Easy access. Oh, that's probably the biggest one of the day. Easy access. Um, good shoreline access. Close to home. Catch and release. So the fish are allowed to get bigger in here. Nice, nice keeper bluegill there. Yeah, I think some of the kids in my church would love this spot. Definitely coming back. Back you go. There you go. All right, let's see if we can do uh, fish number five on this worm. Got him. All right, so a couple of things about what I'm doing today in this spot. I've never fished here before. Now usually when I'm working a worm under a bobber, I move it a little bit like I do with a jig. This is probably the smallest one of the day. Not too bad though. But what I'm finding today is that letting the worm settle under the bobber and just being patient. Uh, they're, they're hitting kind of slow, but, uh, but being patient and not moving the worm around seems to be working better for me. There he goes. Come on. Got him. All right, this is like the sixth fish <laughs> off this same piece of nightcrawler, so I think I'm going to change that out on this one. Come here. No. Try to show you how I'm threading the worm, which is allowing me to... Oh, 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 oh. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Uh-oh. Caught me. There we go. There we go. Oh, another big one. Nice one. Beautiful. All right. There you go. Back you go. Go get caught again some other day. All right. So I'm, I'm fishing night crawlers today. I'm only using small pieces of night crawler. And what I'm doing, hope you can, hope you can see this. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking the piece of Nightcrawler and I'm threading it on the hook much the same way I would thread a tube jig. Just like that. And then I might, um, I'll fish that way for like the first couple of fish and as the, as the Nightcrawler starts to, you know, lose some of its, uh, some of its durability, then I'll, I'll thread the hook again. But I'm fishing small pieces of Nightcrawler 
and I'm just threading them like a tube jig. And I seem to get more uh, fish that way, and I'm able to uh, use a piece of night crawler for more fish, which conserves my bait. So maybe that's helpful. Oh, there it goes. Come on. Got him. All right. All right, so while I'm bringing this one in, I've been wanting to do this on a couple of videos. While I'm bringing this, oh, this is a smaller one. While I'm bringing this one in, I want to do a shout out to one of my favorite fishing channels. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Just didn't put up much of a fight. That's a good one. One of my favorite fishing channels. Oh, there we go. And that is random fishing joe has that channel joe from random fishing that's a pretty blue gill look at the blue on that gill hence the name real pretty uh, joe from random fishing joe is in pennsylvania uh, joe catches bass uh, bluegill crappie a lot of trout i love watching him fish for trout in the streams and uh, i get a lot of joy out of watching uh, joe catch fish uh, and again, that's Joe, and the channel is Random Fishing, Random Fishing. And so I want to encourage you to, to subscribe to his channel, uh, like his videos. Joe doesn't know I'm doing this. Joe and I have never met, uh, but uh, communicating uh, on our channels, commenting on each other's fishing videos, and Joe's a real encouragement to me. So ran Joe at Random Fishing. There you go. Yeah, well, he took off. All right, well, that was a lot of fun. I want to give a shout out to a uh, viewer by the name of Deer Z, Deer Z Y Wins with a Z, Deer Z Wins, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, you were the one that suggested uh, the spot where I fished today. I've never fished here before, didn't even know this place existed in the heart of the Quad Cities here in uh, eastern Iowa where I live. So, Deer Z Wins, thank you very much. And I'd like to show my appreciation to you. So I want to encourage you to email me at iowapanfishing at gmail.com, iowapanfishing at gmail.com, and I want to send you a gift as my way of saying thank you. Um, I live in the Quad Cities area, Davenport, Iowa area. Uh, if you want to suggest some new locations for me to try out, uh, I would love to do that. I love finding new spots, and if I catch some fish there, I'm going to do for you what I'm doing for Deer Z Winds, and I'm going to send you a gift of some kind. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Iowa Pan Fishing, and until next time, God bless. <laughs>